After commending the Ephesian church for their stance against the Nicolaitans in verse 6, verse 7 presents a pivotal conclusion to the message to Ephesus. The verse reads, He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. To him who overcomes, I will give to eat from the tree of life, which is in the midst of the paradise of God. This verse begins with a universal call to attentiveness and discernment. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. This phrase is repeated in each of the messages to the seven churches, underscoring the importance of heeding the spiritual truths and directives given by Christ. It is an exhortation for all believers, not just those in Ephesus, to be attentive to the voice of the Holy Spirit. The implication is that the messages contained in Revelation are not just for the specific churches addressed, but have wider relevance for the entire body of Christ. The promise, to him who overcomes, I will give to eat from the tree of life, which is in the midst of the paradise of God, shifts the focus to the eternal reward awaiting those who remain faithful. The term overcomes implies enduring faithfulness and victory over spiritual challenges, including false teachings, moral compromise, and waning love for Christ. The reward of eating from the tree of life harkens back to the Garden of Eden, now accessible in the renewed paradise of God. It symbolizes eternal life and fellowship with God, a promise of restoration and eternal communion with Him. Transitioning from verse 6 to verse 7, the message moves from commendation and admonition to a call for spiritual discernment and a focus on the eternal reward. This verse serves as a powerful reminder that the struggles and faithfulness of the present life have eternal implications. It encourages believers to persevere in their faith, uphold doctrinal purity, and rekindle their primary love for Christ with the assurance of eternal life in God's presence as the ultimate reward. This verse encapsulates the core message to the Ephesian church and, by extension, to all believers. To listen to the Spirit, overcome the trials and temptations of this world, and look forward to the eternal joy and communion with God that awaits the faithful. Thank you all for tuning in and being a part of our community here at Gospel Illuminations. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the thumbs up button to show your support. Please share your thoughts, feel free to leave a comment below, and don't forget to subscribe to Gospel Illuminations for more inspiring and uplifting content. Your support means the world and helps this channel grow. Thank you again, and stay blessed.